Hi, this is Tector Ted, and this is part two of installing Ethernet cabling in your house. We're going to terminate the cables in the patch panel. So let's get started. Put this on here. Okay, so here we're using a um, tool to cut the sheath off the Ethernet cable, and you can just pull it right off after you cut around the circle there. And the blade is very uh, shallow so that it doesn't cut any of the wires inside. This tool came with the patch panel, but you can probably pick these up at like a Home Depot or something like that. Okay, so now I'm putting the wires into the patch panel. They're color coded. You can see right there on the back side, there's a color coding. So from the top left, you've got a solid brown, and then the next to that is a white with a brown stripe, then solid orange, and then white with an orange yeah. stripe. Bottom is a solid blue, and then uh, white with a bl blue stripe, and then solid green, and then white with a green stripe. And you just push them in there, and then you use the tool to um, push it in there uh, all the way down. So then in that process, it it strips the cable away and makes a connection, an electrical connection just by pushing it down. The tool I'm using here is called a punch-down tool. A telephone repairman will also have a punch down tool, but it'll be much fancier than this one and will actually cut the wire off as it pushes it down. Okay, now let's test it. It works. Hey, it works. Battery's low, but the tester works. So either a cable is twisted so that each pair doesn't. Um, have any crosstalk from the other pairs and it prevents um, interference from also electrical signals nearby and it does a pretty good job actually in preventing uh, interference so that's why it's twisted so you generally want to keep it twisted all the way up to the point of termination and um, that way it prevents even interference right there at the punch down block here I'm installing a tie wrap to tie the wires to the punch down block so it doesn't pull the wires off. All right, so I'm going to go around to the different jacks and I'm going to test all of them and make sure they're right before I cut the wires off. So I'm going to go to number two and the second one. Number two is good. So I have a, another good part of this test unit plugged into the other end of the cable in the wall. Yay. So um, when I run the test, it runs, it tests the uh, all four pairs. It does a kind of test to make sure they're pinned correctly and make sure all of them are uh, getting continuity. Okay, so now I'm putting the caps on so the wires don't accidentally fall out. Next step is to install the patch panel on the rack plug in the patch cables and then we're done. Ethernet cabling is limited to a distance of 328 feet or 100 meters before it'll stop working correctly. If you're installing Ethernet in a warehouse with long distances you can get around that limitation by either installing fiber optic cable which you can go thousands of feet or you can just install another patch panel with another switch. And the switch acts like a repeater so you can, you can then extend a cable from that patch panel another 100 meters. This Ethernet cable I just installed can handle up to 1 gigabit in speed. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and hit a thumbs up if you like it. And we'll see you next time. Over and out. And we'll see you on the next side. Doesn't make sense.